Here's some horizontal lines for you. I do like. What if I go right? Well, cool. It's down this way. Tea Time Meadows. Hey, guy. Man, dinner's just ain't the same anymore. That color white really killed the vibe. This wall, for instance, it used to have a beautiful Murray. I'm not seeing it every day. It inspired me to live a beautiful life. Without it, there's nothing in to inspire me. Guess my life just sucks now. Bro, chill. You're okay. Ah, oh, are you finished painting this wall? Not yet. Oh, okay. Can't wait. Alright, let's let's paint it. Let's erase the wall here. Alright. Uh yeah, okay, I like that. Let's do this. What should I paint? How about a slice of pizza? A big old slice of pizza! Right here on the wall! I know you love pizza! Who wouldn't? Oh, fuck. It kind of hurts to my eyes to look at it a little bit. That looks fucking sick, though. Looks like the best pizza I've never eaten. Here you go. Ah, are you finished painting this well? Yeah. Wow! Look at this. It actually doesn't make me feel any better at all. How am I supposed to improve my life? Well, thanks for the trash, dog. That's something to that's something to encapsulate how I feel. We'll be on the lookout for other external sources of joy. Yeah, good. Fuck you. I'm not your fucking happiness. I don't owe you shit. It's called art. If you don't like it, eat my butt. A good ass painting. I love it. Whoa, yeah, everyone else likes this. Oh shit, look, a hidden little thing right there. That's a hidden as an art student, I'm trying to keep up with the wielder's work. It's cool to see you take your skills to the streets. Uh, is that... Did I say it right? Well, I like it anyways. Yeah, I love seeing this outsider art. You've adorned this wall with your creativity. And in doing so, snatch some power straight from the establishment. Well, I guess the whole weirdo thing and fortunes in an ancient hierarchy with gatekeeping rules and power dynamics, which basically makes you the establishment of art. So I guess nothing actually transgressive happened here. Just more of the establishment, exerting its dominance over us common artists. Man, I hate that. Well, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, how you, it's how you say, shut up. How about that? This is a really good mural. I feel like it shows a different side of you than we've seen before. It's cool that you're so talented, but you're still evolving and trying new things. Nobody appreciates you enough. I agree. Especially this fucker here. You little bitch. How about that? How's some red clothes? You're blue now. Mm, your clothes are blue. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> Onion. Uh. Oh, man. Do you know Chicory? That's so wicked. I'm a big fan. Her colors made the world feel so alive and magical. You could feel her spirit bursting out of every stroke. She must be so cool in person. Yeah, she's cool. Meow. What's wrong? <laughs> Have you seen a little skunk around? He was just here. I looked away for one second. Have you seen him? 
I found some lost kids, but no skunk, sorry. Ah, I can't believe I let this happen. Uh, stitched our addresses onto his kerchief, so if anyone finds him, they can send a letter. Oh, but the post office is in total disarray. I'm not sure what to do. I've run around screaming for him all day. Ugh, but, but, but I probably shouldn't leave the spot. What if he finds his way back and I'm not here? What if someone finds him and sends a letter and I'm not here to receive it? I'm going crazy! There's an epidemic of lost kids at Picnic. It's natural for kids to go climbing on their own, but the color white must have confused so many. This is horrible. This shouldn't happen to anybody. I got you. Relax. I'll take care of you. Here, red clothes. I don't know what's wrong with my... thing. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, Grub Caverns. That's where I gotta go. That way. Aha! It's you, the new wielder. What the fuck? Right. About time you showed up. We need to talk about the mail. Yeah, I bet we do. Uh, what's up with the mail? What's up with the mail? It's going nowhere, that's what's up. My workers haven't shown up since the color wipe. Someone needs to deliver it. And that someone is you. Huh? Why me? Because you're a public servant, and you travel around anyway. And was it is your color wiping that got us into this mess. No buts! Now take this. Oh, mailbag, great. I got the letter to deliver. That's addressed two screens right from the dinner's transit bench. You can check it any time on your collection sheet. Okay, thanks. Come on now, go deliver that letter. Who knows how long that person's been waiting for their mail. He say that again. Trouble figuring out where to deliver letters? It's not easy, I know. If only there was some kind of standard way to address letters. But there isn't! So go figure it out yourself. Okay. Oh, is it to you? Hi! Oh, a letter for me? Let me see. Yes! Oh, thank goodness, yes! Somebody named Beans is my lost son. Oh, I was deathly worried. I'm so glad he's safe. All the way in luncheon. How did he wander off so far? Poor thing. I've gotta head to luncheon right away. But thank you so much. I hope I'll see you again sometime. I'm sure you will. Okay. Well, I do that. Oh, I delivered your mail. So, did you deliver the letter? Yeah. It was to someone like right outside. Are you sure you need me to deliver these for you? Absolutely yes. This time I've got a whole stack for you to deliver. And some of these letters are going pretty far away. So make sure you t get your transfer pass from City Hall. The first one is addressed to the middle of three square houses in a row. If you want to deliver a different one, sort it on your collection screen. I worked at this post office for decades. I started as a delivery person just like you. Ah, uh, brings back memories. But that's all they are! Memories! My time isn't over. Go deliver your letters. Okay, fine. Jeez. Why, jeez! Okay, bitch. Ooh, haircut. Whoa, hey, guy. Uh, red clothes. Moochie. Wanna go? Uh, try something else. Uh, try something else. I kind of like that ponytail. Uh, great. No, God, no. Mochi, you're not a very good haircutist. No, this is terrible! Ugh. Oh my goodness gracious. Gracious!
Brother, come on now. Give me a good haircut. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I like it. I used to have a partner here who did some really crazy stuff with hair. We started the shop together. I ain't seen them in a long, long time, though. Tried to write them once, but I don't think the letter ever made it. Hope they're doing okay out there. Uh, I don't know where that came from. Have a nice day. Want to get a haircut? No. Want to get a haircut? No. Thanks. Coffee! Why are you reading that? Huh? I'm waiting for transit. Sure, but why are you reading that? It's not that bad. It's interesting political theory. Have you read it? I have. It's garbage. What's wrong with new ideas? Nothing at all. You can't just dismiss it. It addresses actual issues. Like, there's plenty that works right now, don't get me wrong. Shared worker profit is functional, government-controlled property, all that. But it sucks if you want to start your own business. Fairness is great, but all that red tape also prevents invention. Sure, I agree. So, shouldn't we do something to improve it? I think we should abolish money altogether. I agree. Don't tell me you're one of... Don't tell me you're one of those. How do you imagine society functioning without money? You gonna barter for every slice you order? No, you create a shared storehouse of all goods and products. Everyone contributes to that storehouse to the extent of their ability and takes to the extent of their need. Well, wow, sounds real simple. It is. What if someone decides to steal it all for themselves? Then they pit themselves against all of society. They wouldn't win. What if someone burns down the storehouse? You wouldn't actually keep it all in just one place. We can deflect and theorize all day. I'm just saying it would work. There's a lot of things to figure out, but all systems of government have something to figure out. I'm not convinced. Because you believe in garbage! No, because it just doesn't make sense. Where's the motivation? Why would anyone do anything? The existence of money doesn't fix, ex fix existentialism either. But in a moneyless society... Uh... In a moneyless society, you're free to explore that on your own terms, without the demand for profit keeping you on a treadmill. We're discussing the finer points of communism right now. How's it going? Society would society would never just transform like that. Money solves too, pro too many problems too well. I'm telling you, this theory is sound. The issue is that workers have way too much power right now. Like seriously, why should all workers share profit equally? People who actually start businesses should profit from their good ideas. Then you could have an economy driven by people's innovation. Capitalism. That sounds like shit. That's seriously the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. A successful business would consolidate its wealth to just a few people. So you'd end up with a tiny ruling class exploiting everyone's labor. <laughs> and only, and only lucky rich people would actually be free to have ideas. The rest of us would be stuck working for them. Well, it's just a theory. A game theory. Oh my god, this place is so fucking big. There's too much to paint. Ugh. Hey, there's a kid up here. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give this is Chicory, a colorful tale. It was made by uh, my friend Greg Labanov. Oh, this is a child in a trench coat. An adult. It is very good. It's very cute. Ahem. Hello, fellow adult. I am in line to get my transit pass to go on cool adult adventures. Um, which aren't even that cool because I go on them all the time. As an adult. Taxes, accounting, mowing lawns, vegetables. These are my favorite things. Have you seen the latest adult rated film? I sure have. I've seen them all. Even the ones with lots of fuck kissing. Ew, kissing's gross. Hello. Good day to you. This is the Transit Pass Agency. If you're a citizen of age, you're entitled to a free transit pass here. Would you like a transit pass? Yeah. Okay, your name please? Dong. Okay, Dong. What's your birth month? February. Okay, what? Day of the month for your birthday. Uh, the 22nd through the 28th. What day of the month is your birthday? The 26th. So your birthday's on 2-26? Uh, that's right. Okay, thank you. Now come and stand in front of the camera. Wait, no, I want to change my mind. I changed my mind. I changed it. I changed it. My birthday's not February. Okay, I'm going to take your photo. Please maintain a neutral expression and pose. We 
Which one? I like this. <laughs> okay. No, just sign on the bottom line here. Please refrain from marking other areas. What? This looks like dog shit. Ta-da! Your new card is ready. You can view it any time on the collection scene. You can also now travel between official transit benches. Just take a seat near any transit sign and flash your card. Have a nice day. No, I want to change my thing! I don't want to be this fucking date anymore. Oh. Would you like to update your transit pass? Yes, please. Okay, your name please? Dong. Okay, Dong. Now come and stand in front of the camera. No, I want to change my Okay, I'm gonna take your photo. Please maintain a neutral expression of fun. I wanna see if that just like glitched out or something. Okay, no, just sign on the bottom here. Yeah, see, it looks like shit. Ta-da! Your new card is ready. You can have a nice day. Shut up, man. You're eating my butt. Stupid. It's just suck. Whatever. I don't even want to talk to you. Oh, you have a transit pass. Could we, um... Uh, could I have it? Uh... Sure. Fuck it. <gasps> You're welcome. Uh-oh. I got a stash. Yes, very good. Did you illegally give your pass to those children? No. Not my problem. Would you like a transit pass? Yes. Okay, your name please? Dong. Okay, Dong. Now come stand in front of the camera. Okay, I'm gonna take your photo. Please maintain it. Okay, how's that? Okay, now just sign on the bottom here. Please refrain from it. See, no, it's all it's all goofed up. I'm so upset. I I hate this. I'm gonna redo it and I'm gonna take a picture of the one I want. You're killing me, Smalls. Have a nice day. Give me my fucking thing. Yes. Okay, your name, please. It's Dong. Okay, Dong, come stand in front of the camera. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture now. Okay, now just sign on the bottom here. Please refrain from marking on other areas. Ta-da, your new card is ready, whatever. Have a nice day. Shut up. Don't talk to me ever again, Bacon, or whatever the fuck your name is. <laughs> Rooftop party! Come on upstairs! Hey! Oh, an avocado. Welcome to the rooftop party. Did you see my flowers? To be honest, I'm kind of new to throwing parties. People keep coming up here, but when they see the big empty roof, they just kind of look around awkwardly. Uh, and then, uh, leave. I probably should have thought about decoration furniture. That's a little hurt. Uh, if you have any of that stuff, you should totally throw it down here. Okay, I got you. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Here's a, a gramophone for you, and a table for drinks, and an orb. Gotta have an orb. 
Uh, what else? Floor. How about a, a rug? Nice rug there. Uh, here's a picture of me. I can't do that. Um, garden. Here you go. How about a seedling? And another one. And another one. Actually, let me move this up here. Here's a pot of plant. And a garden plant. Sound, floor, wall, seats. There you go. Here's a wicker chair. And an antique chair. And the spider chair, you can have that one too. There you go. Um, and a pumpkin. But there you go. How's that? Oh, heck yeah. This is it. The party is saved. He did me a huge solid. I bet loads of people will show up now. Maybe check back in a bit. Okay. Here, let me paint it for you too. some sky pizza for you. You're welcome. D no need to thank me. Whoa! Look at all these people! <laughs> Roof job party, huh? This takes me back. Dinners used to be so cool, you know. Rougher and rowdier and rootier and dirtier. We'd party on the rooftops and get in fights. Now everything's so clean and nice and tidy. And full of trees and kindness and junk. I mean, I guess actually it's pretty nice here now. But like, is it freedom? Yes. Hey, P. Yeah, party! You know I'm always gonna be where the party's at. You gotta get some music going here, though. It ain't a party with some tunes blasting. I'll let you figure that out. Well, I have a gramophone. Ooh. I'm glad there was a party going on. I needed a break from my job. I'm really committed to it. It's an important cause. Yeah, but yeah, I can forget to stop. Pot exchange is a pretty new program, so we have to work extra hard to demonstrate its value. If we can show results, I'm worried we'll be shuttered. Oh, look at me. I'm still just talking about work. Haha. <laughs> Being the wielder must be a stressful job, too. Coloring everything sounds like fun, but there's a lot to color, isn't there? Well, I hope you remember to relax and have fun, too. Thanks. No, now this is cool. I love a good rooftop party. The decor is perfect, too. It just wouldn't be a party without this antique chair. Thanks for making such a cool spot. Oh, and by the way, I want to pass along a friendly tip. If you place sits from your decor anywhere in the world, wanderers like me will probably show up there. Could be a neat way to make some friends, you know. See you around. This is cool. Just need some music. Well, I don't have any fucking music. Look, it is a party. Woo! Here, you can have this. Oh, couch, thanks. It's my couch. Well, was, now it's yours. May the party go on forevermore. I've always wanted to throw a party, so when I moved into this place and saw that it had this red rooftop, my party throwing senses went into overdrive. Next time, decoration, then flyers. I guess I could better come clean. I'm not even experienced at parties. I'm sorry, I know it must be shocking. I've always heard how cool they're so cool. You know, like when people say, it's party time. I wanted that to be me, at least once. Well, you can do it. Oh, so we're doing it now, right? We're chatting here. This is partying, right? Wow, wow. This is so cool. I, I love to party. You made my dreams come true. I've partied. I've partied hard. Thank you. You're welcome, snake friends. Hmm. Well, it's getting late. Okay, that's enough for tonight. Good night.